there, this is Lael Konkar. I'm back with you this month to share my June lists. This is the list book that I've been using for all of April, all of May, and part of the month through June. So real quick before I get started, I want to talk about a few things. The first one is um, some of my kind of basics or um, must-have items for my listing. The first one is the book itself. So this book is made by was made by Moleskin, um, and it is called the Kahir Journal. I bought these um, from Target, and they are a package of three. They're plain journals with that craft cover, so you can just see um, there is the journal, and the insides are really plain. The inside pages are a little bit thin, so one of the things that I do uh, whenever I write directly on the page, I always back the other side of the page um, as part of my design with a piece of pattern paper so that, that um, the writing doesn't show through. So that's one of my must-have items. Another one is this pen. It is a Zig writer and it has two tips, a fine tip and a, um, a thicker tip. I always use the fine tip and I've used these for years in my scrapbooking and definitely in my listing. Um, one of the things that I do quite a bit is outline, do a quite a bit of outlining on my list. I outline the page, I outline stickers, I outline the paper and this is the best marker that I found for that. A couple of other must-haves for me are stickers from the Reset Girl. And she has them available in all different colors, shapes, sizes. Um, I primarily use the circles and the squares. And I use these kind of for my bullets for my lists. Um, one of my favorite things to do with the squares, if you can see down here in the lower left-hand corner, um, I've cut that in half diagonally. And then I use them as kind of little arrows for my listing or my journaling. So um, those stickers, and then one other product. Um, these are word label stickers from Simple Stories, and they come in a package of eight. And um, there are eight total sheets, four are cream and four are white, and they're all different um, types of words and different things like that. And I really like to incorporate those into my list as well. So those are kind of my basics or have to have items for me personally for my lists. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and get started in June. As you can see, this um, book is very, very thick or fluffy as some people like to call it. So um, this was June and I am um, happy to say today is July 30th, I think, and I just today finished all of July, so I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay, right? And here's an example, as I mentioned, um, where not only do I outline things, you can see I outlined the clown sticker there and outlined um, this piece of pattern paper, but on this page, where I had written directly on the page, um, here I had backed the page or used a piece of pattern paper as my base just so that writing wouldn't sew through. Lots of numbers. There are a couple of those stickers from the Reset Girl. Some more of those squares. I also like to use a lot of different alphabet stickers and these kind of little square alphabets from um, a company called Making Memories that was around in the industry a while ago. Those are fun. Um, I brought those in London recently and they are kind of puffy orange stickers. This one, little pocket, so I kind of have some, my list is a little bit hidden in there. Just goes, well, sometimes goes right back into the, well, we'll just leave that out for now. Back into the pocket. Um, I like using lots of gold washi tape too. I know lots of us love washi and I use washi all over in my list. That's a really inexpensive way to add, um, you know, add just some pops of color and a little bit of extra des design. I use quite a few scrapbook products in my list, both um, pattern paper, die cuts, stickers, and those are some of the things that you see here. Um, these are fun letter stickers from a company called October Afternoon. 
All right, so that finished up my book. So that book was April, May, and part of June. And so on the back side of June, I decided to, um, or excuse me, on the back side of that page, just to do kind of a little to be continued design. So when we move into the rest of June. Now, one thing I decided to do when I started this um, book was I haven't done the cover yet. And the reason I haven't done the cover, what I started seeing on my initial book was that um, it started getting kind of worn um, because I was constantly having it open and working with it. Um, it did get a little bit worn, so I had to, actually had to replace that sticker with a with a similar one. So I've decided to wait to do this cover until um, I'm done with the book. So then it will kind of preserve the the elements that are on that cover. So this is the continuation of June. These were really fun little stamps from Carrie Bradford Studios. Um, they're actually little trees that I turned on their side. I thought they made kind of fun little arrows. This particular list, um, favorite names. I've been a lister for a really, really, really long time. I'm um, going back to when I was a little kid. This particular list is a photocopy of a list of baby names. When my husband and I were um, thinking about getting pregnant back in 1997, long time ago, and this is the list of boy and girl names that I had made and I had saved. So I think that that was kind of fun to include there. I just did a photocopy of that and shrunk it down and printed it out. Her little house stamp again those little house um, that stamp is also from Carrie Bradford studio she makes some wonderful um, stamps and then also uh, cut files for the silhouette more of Corey's fabulous stickers I mean I use those a lot in my listing I just think they're perfect for um, perfect for lists every once in a while I'll do a list like this where it's just kind of have one long run on list um, especially like this, my dream home. Um, there are a lot of things that I would love, as I'm sure lots of us would love in our dream home. So I just kind of did one long run on. And this one over here on the left hand side wraps up June. So stay tuned for my July list. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.